How to add custom color widgets on iOS 14. With the iOS 14 update, Apple has created a bunch of standard widgets that you can add to your home screen for a more personalized look. However, you're very limited on customization for color and text and design with these default widgets. In order to customize further, you do need to use a third-party app. If you're looking specifically to creating custom color widgets, a great app to use is Color Widgets, which you can download from the App Store. Once you have it downloaded, just open up your Color Widget app and you'll be able to start creating different widgets using a variety of colors and designs. On this main home screen, you can choose the style or type of widget you'd like to create. There's a wide variety to choose from, so if you're just looking for a date and time, you can use a gradient background, a solid background, different text styles, etc. You can scroll down, and if you upgrade to the pro version of the app, you do have some more options as to the type of widgets you can create and the background designs. You have an hourly forecast, quotes, reminders, and so on. So a lot of options to choose from. Once you do select the style and type of widget you'd like to create, just select it. If you're satisfied with how the widget is already designed, you can just click set widget. But if you wanna edit the details further, click edit widget. So at the top, you can change the size of the widget if you want it small, medium, or large. Then further down, you can choose your background, which if you click add photo, you can select a specific photo to use as your background from your camera roll. You can choose the background style by altering between light, which is a white background, colored, or dark. Under theme, you can then select the different themes you'd like to choose, which is a color style. And there's a lot of colors to choose from. If there's a specific color you're looking for, you can just click the rainbow wheel at the beginning of the selections, and then use the grid, spectrum, or sliders to find a specific color. Once you have your theme selected, you can move on to font, which you can change using a variety of fonts available in the app. And let's say you change your mind on the type of widget you wanna create. You still have a chance to change this under the widget section by scrolling through and choosing if you want a photo widget, a calendar, a countdown, just plain text, and so on. Once you have all of that set and everything's to your liking, click set widget at the bottom of your screen. If we then go back to our home screen of our app, you'll see that the widget we just created has been added to our active widgets, so it's ready to be used on our home screen. We then go back to our home screen and hold down anywhere on the screen. We can click the plus sign in the top left corner to add the widget. In your widget options, you'll see the color widget app listed with the widget you just created. So if we select that, and we can then choose the size of our widget, which we'll keep it to the medium widget. And once you have it chosen, click add widget at the bottom of your screen. You can then move the widget around to place it anywhere on your screen. And that's how to add custom color widgets on iOS 14. If this video helped you, let us know by liking it or commenting below. And don't forget to subscribe for more how-to instructional videos.